All right. It's been long awaited. It's a refresh. It's how to build your PC in 2017. Whether it's a low budget PC or building a 17,000 or even 40,000 ringgit gaming system, Lucro PC has got you covered. Check out the link below for a free system quote today. So this video is not going to be complicated, it's going to be very easy, very quick and really a brief rundown on how to build your own PC. So I'm not going to waste any more time but before we dive in, truth be told, the only thing you need to build a PC besides the components is only a screwdriver. This is the processor, this is the CPU cooler, this is the motherboard, this is the RAM, the graphic card, SSD or hard disk, power supply and for God's sake the case is so big I couldn't fit it on the table to lay it down. So this is the case, the Aeroku Project 7. Now to install AMD processors, just lift the lever and insert the processor and push back the lever down and lock it. Here's a closer look, notice the golden triangle on the processor and the triangle shape on the CPU slot. For Intel processors, is about the same as well, notice the golden triangle there and the ridges on the side of the processor. Now to install Intel processors, it's so easy, just lift the lever up, insert the processor into the CPU slot and then push it back down in, slot it in and then lock it. Thermal paste depends on the CPU die and in this case it's slightly bigger than the Intel so you use it a little bit more but still not so much. Depending on the cooler that you're using, this is the AMD stock cooler. Intel uses notches which you can just press in. This AMD is a slide in and lock it into position like so. So the cables, CPU fan for the CPU pin header. The 24 pin motherboard connector is for the 24 pin slot. The CPU power, most of the mainstream motherboards nowadays uses 4 pins. Some more advanced motherboards uses 8 pins and extra on this one is 12 pins but you can also use 4 pins or 8 pins. SATA power goes to anything that uses the same type of connector, especially on this one is the SSD or storage. SATA data cables goes into the SATA slot on the motherboard and the other end goes to the SSD or any storage that you have. These are the front panels depending on the motherboard that you use, you have to look up on your motherboard manual. This is a USB 3 that comes from the front panel of the case and it's quite troublesome at times as you can see. Front panel audio for the case goes into this slot right here. Typically fans use 3 or 4 pins uh, goes into the fan header on the motherboard. Your graphic card goes into the PCIe slot on your motherboard which is usually the first lane for full capability. Also make sure that you have the suitable cable to power up your graphic card. Now, I would like to note that I am using the air cooler right there, the stock cooler from AMD, but I'm not going to because I don't want to repeat do two different jobs after that. I'm going to use this Thermotech water cooler AIO right here because like I said, it's not going to be, you know, more than one job. A storm has just begun and I'm still looking for you.
Alright, well that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a brief, quick one and I hope you guys gain some knowledge and know how to build your own PC now although it was not as uh, knowledgeable or organized as the other professional YouTubers out there but thank you so much for watching this video like this video if you think this video has helped you and comment share and subscribe to the video or to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one looks kind of boring isn't it let's fix that Searching for you So go and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pop, pop, pop it for me. Turn around and drop it for a plan.